Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. This is Michael Mail with Entrepreneur Freedom where I show you some great ideas and great tools to grow your online business or to even start one. So in today's video we're going to do another automation and this automation is going to allow you to create posts for your social media by using RSS feeds and a simple tool that's called Plexly. We'll, we'll summarize it and you can use ChatGPT to create the post and it's going to put it onto a Google Sheet. And the reason why I'm using the Google Sheet is because sometimes AI does not write the content correctly. So what you can do is you can look it over, edit it, and get it ready to post. And that's one reason why we're doing Google Sheets. The second is I'm going to do another video to show you how to use that sheet to approve it to automatically post to your social media if you want to use that. So this video is for people who want to basically post it to a Google Sheet and then edit it and post it manually. And in the second video, we will go continue from this area to on how to post it to your social media automatically. But First, we're going to jump right in here. Now, the tools that you're going to need is RSS feed, Chrome extension, which I'll show you, uh, Plexly account, and you're going to need the Plexly uh, module. Now, the Plexly module you'll have to pay for, and I'll have a link at the bottom because it's a third party that uh, controls that module, so you have to pay for it. It's like 37 euros, so roughly about 40 something dollars US. Once you buy it once, you never have to buy it again. You can use it over and over again. Okay, so that's the great thing about that. Again, we're building this really fast and easy. It's going to be like 30 minutes because we're going to automate it using Boost Space. Again, you probably see my last video. We built a great automation using Boost Space, and we're going to build another one right now. So let's jump right into here. So, what you're going to do is you're going to go to Chrome extension and you're going to get an RSS feed ex a Chrome extension. This is a really good one. This is free, and this is really good because if you know a blog post or a news feed that you want to get the information from to create the post, you click on the um, Chrome extension and it will tell you if it has an RSS feed. It's really good and you don't have to have a membership with an RSS feed company or not. You can just do that, copy it, and you can even just save them as you go. Okay, so you're looking for one that's dark orange. There's a couple of them in here, light orange, but you're looking for one that's dark orange and it has like 40,000 users and it has a 4.0. That's the one you want to get, okay? And the next thing you're going to do, you need a Plexity account, um, Plex, sorry, Plexity model. Uh, which you'll get from this company here. I'll have the link at the bottom. You pay $37 and it's like, uh, sorry, 37 euros and it's like about 40 something dollars. You have to buy it to use it with Boost Space. If you don't buy it, you can't use it, okay? And this is really, really good to have because it will summarize a lot of your articles when you want to automate it, okay? And then you have to have a Plexi account. It's free to sign up. Um, to get the API. So you'll put some money down. I say put $10 because I put $10 on mine and it lasted me so far for like four months and I'm only down to like $8. So again, you just go to Plexly, sign up for free, and then you'll just put a deposit down of $10 credit and then you can use it as long as you need. And then you're going to need um, API. So sign up for API, sorry, open, sorry, open AI API code. You'll sign up and then you'll go in and you'll do the same thing like you did in Plexi. You'll put some money down. And it's, again, I think this is better than buying ChatGPT because you can do paid as you go and you don't use a lot. It's very cheap if you use, especially with the new modules coming out, it's very cheap to do that. So you open it up. I mean, you log in, you create the account and you go in here and you click API and you can go in here and log in and then go get your API. Again, you have to put money in the account to use it, okay? So just let you know, okay? So, and then you're going to need Google Sheets, and then we're gonna, we'll go over this more in detail, but you're going to need Google Sheets um, so that way you can um, put the information on the Google Sheets. So let's get started building this out. So the first thing you're going to need is, the first module you're going to need is the RSS feed, okay? And you're looking for watch RSS feeds, okay? You're going to click on that. Now, the URL is what you're going to use, uh, sorry, the URL is where you use the Chrome extension. So if you find a news, you know, a news uh, feed that you want to use and you have a US, uh, sorry, a, a RSS feed, you just put that in here, okay? So we're going to use the one I have. So you right click, I mean, you, you just basically paste that in there. Now the max number is how many you wanted to create, how many blog posts you want to create from different articles. We're going to do one, okay? Once you hit OK, it's going to open up this other window. The other window basically helps you um, coordinate. So if you want to get feeds from starting from a certain date, you could do that. Or you want to get them all, you can export all of them at once. Or you can do one at a time. Now, I'm doing one because we're just testing this out. So just do one when you're first building it out. And you can go back and decide how you want to use the other ones, the other RSS feed um, scenarios. Okay? So click on one. Hit OK. Well, before you hit OK, it's going to open up. Sorry. It's going to open up all... now. 
it's going to open up all the RSS feeds. So this is how you really tell it's working. So just choose one. So we're going to choose, I'll choose this one. Okay. Now what you want to do is you want to make sure it's working. So hit run, hit the right click button and hit this run this module once because you want to make sure this is green. Okay. So that's green. We know that's working. Okay. So the second module we need is you're going to need is Plexly. Okay. And then you want to do create, you want to use this create a chat. So click on that and then it's going to open a window. Now, when you buy your Plexly module, um, when you go to activate it, it's going to ask you for the code from the email that's going to send you. So you put that code in and then you go into Plexly to get the API code after you signed up and then you'll activate it. It's very simple and easy to activate. Um, you, again, you buy, the, you buy it from that company and then it's in the email, you put the code in when it asks you when you activate it and then you put the API and your user all that in here. Okay. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to choose the module, the, the model that you want to write with. So I'm using this one, which is the latest one. I like that. It writes really, really good. Okay. And then the second one you want to, the second thing you're going to do in this, you're going to do add uh, hit message and add item. So the first one content you're going to do is you're going to put a kind of like a um, short prompt. I have a pre-written prompt, so I'm going to grab it over here. And if you when if you need any of this stuff, just let me know. Put a comment at the bottom. I'll there'll be a link. Put a comment at the bottom, and I'll share a link to get all this, and you can just download it and just change out the content the way you want. So I'm just putting into your helpful social media manager. The role I'm putting system, okay? Because I want the system. It's like the system. The second one you're gonna do add another item, and then right here is you're going to put another prompt, and we're gonna put a simple prompt. It's basically I want you to summarize this article. So we're gonna put that in there, okay? And in the role, you're going to put user. Okay. Let's go here. Okay. Down here, underneath that, on the content, you're going to enter. And then what you want to get from, <clears throat> excuse me, what you want to get from here is you want to get the title, description, and the URL. You want to make sure that because this is going to come, this is what is coming from the feed. So you want to get the title and the description and the, um, the URL from the feed that's from the feed. Okay. And then you want to put a thousand tokens or whatever tokens you feel that's comfortable. Um, if you know how to use Plexity or any of the ChatGPTs, you know what you'll need for this automatically. So close this out, hit OK. OK. Now, what you do is re, uh, run this to test it to make sure it's OK. But before you do that, of course, you should always save because uh, Boost Space does not save automatically. And if you go out of it by accident, you've lost everything you've done. So now we're testing it. We want these both to turn green. Okay. As you can see, it's working. It went from here to here. Now it's basically summarizing the article. Okay. Simple, easy as that. Again, this is probably like a 30 minute. If you are fast at things, it probably take you 15 minutes to build this out. So to make sure everything's working okay, you hit the little round circle up here. And then you would hit um, chance. You would hit the number one. And then you hit messes. And it hit content. And it looks like it did not give us the information that we wanted. So let's go back and see where I messed up at. Let's see URL description systems assistant. Uh, let's see here's I want you to summarize. I want that one, that one, that one, that one. Title, description, URL, user. Let's say this again. Let's run it one more time. It might, it's, it's might, I might be missing something from here to here, but I think I know what it is. So let's just, let's take a look at it again. And this is why you look at this stuff. So you know, if it's working right. So hit one again, hit messages, hit content. Okay. So it's doing this stuff here. So it looks like a summary. So what we're going to do is we're going to change the article. We're going to right click and we're going to do start from here. And we're going to do another one. I'm going to change it to a different article. It might be the article feed might be messed up. So we'll just grab another article feed. So we'll grab this one. Hit OK, and then we'll run it again. OK, here we go. It's almost done. OK, now we'll look at it again. Click on choice, number one, messes, content. Yeah, it's the article. So see, it's summarized. It was the article I chose. So it summarized the article. So that's, that's why you want to check to make sure it's working correctly. So hit save and there you go. Now the next one you need is you're going to need the um, router. Okay. 
and router is going to create three diff, um, two extra ones for you. Now you can create as many routers as you want. So if you want to build it all in one for different multiple social medias, it'll create different posts, which I'll show you. So what we're going to do is we're going to create the first one, and this is where you need ChatGPT. So you're going to log in. You're going to get ChatGPT, which is AI, OpenAI, and you want to do Create, which is the, for this one. And then what you want to do is you want to, if you don't have your um, ChatGPT um, added, you can give it authorization. Again, you're going to need the API to activate this add, and then it walks you. It's very, very simple. Window will pop up to add all the information. Okay. So what we're going to do after you've done that, you're going to go and choose the module, the, the mod that you want to use. So this is what you use. So I'm using the 4.0 because it's better and it's cheaper. Okay. What you're going to do is you're going to go in here. You're going to use um, add message and you're going to do role. You're going to put systems again. Okay, and then right here is where you're going to, excuse me, <clears throat> sorry, right here is where you're going to put a small little simple prompt, which is right here, which we're going to use the same one as we did before. Okay, put that in there. All right, and then we're going to do add another message, right, and then we're going to put a role, we're going to put user, and then this is where you're going to put the prompt prompt, okay, the prompt that you wrote out. Okay, so we're going to put this prompt in there that I wrote out, pre-wrote out. And we're going to paste that in there. Okay. And this, what I like to do is make sure that this is separated. So I know that I have this correctly and everything. So you want to make sure read it over. I wrote it for 75 words because I noticed that this, when I was um, doing this, it wrote out really long um, posts. So I shortened it to only 75 words and it's creating a post for you. Again, if you need any of this, let me know. I'll share that. Now, what you'll do is go down here. And you're going to add a couple more things from from the feed. So what you're going to do is go to Plexly, and you need some information from Plexly. So because Plexly is the one that summarizes, so you want the ChatGPT to take the summarize, and you want it to create this post. So what you're going to need to do is go into Choice. You're going to go into Messages, and you're going to go into Contact, and it's going to fill this right here. And you want that to be filled in right here. Okay. Then you're going to go down here, close this out, and then you're going to go down here and put a thousand credits. I mean tokens hit okay and that's good to go I would save that just to make sure it's okay and then what you could do is you can go in here and you can right click and you can just change the name to what you want it to be so you can put Facebook post or whatever to separate them to make it nice and clean okay next thing you're gonna need is your uh, you're gonna need your Google Sheets now I would do is go in and create your Google Sheets and put make sure that you have these columns URL post social media type and approval you need to have these because you're going to use this information when it comes to the google sheet so let's go back in here and i'll show you what i'm talking about so what you're going to do is the next thing you, module you need is google sheets okay and you're looking for add row okay let's move this over a little bit so that way we can see it let's move this up here and move this over here okay so you, of course, you're going to do the same thing. You give the permissions. You're going to log into your Google account that you're using, and then you uh, you're going to go into all this. So you're going to do the path, and I again, I would save it to your Google Drive. It makes it a lot easier to you do that because simple fact, it's it, you can find it quickly. So this is going to populate this automatically. You can delete this. Let's delete this, okay? And then you're going to look for the sheet. I've already named my sheet, and it's going to look for it. And there it is. Okay. Once you've chosen your sheet that you want the, the information to go to, you're going to fill out some more information. Real simple, real simple and easy. Okay. And then what you're going to do here is the name of the sheet, just sheet. That's all you're going to do. And it's going to open up some more windows. Okay. Now this is what I was talking about. These tab, uh, tabs right here is what you're going to need to fill out. So for instance, the URL. Okay. You're going to need to get this from the RSS feed. Okay, so you're going to go down here and you're going to grab the URL. That has to go, oh, sorry, I got the wrong one here. Let me grab back, go back here. Uh, okay, uh, you want this one. You want to make sure that URL. The post, okay, so the post is where you're going to get the information from your um, ChatGPT. So you want to get that information from ChatGPT. So what you're going to do is the same thing as before. Make sure you're up here at ChatGPT because it says this is ChatGPT. So you want to make sure you're there. So what you're going to do is click on Choice. You're going to go to messages and you're going to choose content and you want to make sure that's filled and it's green that's filled in there. Now the social media type is what you're, what you're creating the post for. So we're creating this for Facebook. Oops, sorry. Let me go back. We're creating this for Facebook. If you're creating for Facebook, you're creating for LinkedIn, whatever you're creating it for, make sure it's under social media type. 
because it's gonna put that in there and I'm gonna show you what it's gonna do. So once you've done all that, you don't need to fill out anything else. You close this little dot here and then you hit this and hit okay. So it saved that, then I would save it. Okay, now you could test this right now, make it simple and easy, but I'm gonna show you something quick here. Let's or organize this and I'm gonna show you something quick. So instead of like doing all this over again, the best thing to do is delete this and then clone this, bring it down here and then clone this and bring it down here and it will automatically attach. So now all you have to do is change the name to this. Let's see, so we're creating one for LinkedIn. So we're gonna rechange this to LinkedIn, rename it to LinkedIn and hit save. And then you're gonna go in here and then you're gonna go down here and change your prompt to LinkedIn and change your, you know, what are you writing it for, for you're gonna change that to LinkedIn. So just make sure anything that says LinkedIn in here, simple and easy, you got that. You can just change that and you're good to go, okay? And then you're gonna save that. And then you go over here to your sheet and then you, all you're gonna do is, you're gonna do two things. You're gonna change this to LinkedIn or any other social media that you're using. And I would suggest that you just go here, highlight that, delete that, and re-put that back in. Again, you would get that from ChatGPT area up here. So you basically hit choice, messages, and content. And make sure that, I think I, there was an error before it happened. It was light green, it didn't really work well. So just delete it and put it back in, simple as that. Close this out, hit okay and then hit save. Now let me give you a little thing that happens to me when I was doing this. Go in here, because you ran that already on that one, there will be it won't run again. So what you need to do is right click, do choose from startware and choose a different one just to make sure and choose a different source. So we're gonna choose um, this one here and then we're gonna go okay. And then now what we're gonna do is we're gonna test it. So we're gonna hit run. Again, this is simple and easy. Because if you, I noticed that if you try to test it again with the other one, it won't work. It stops right here. So you have to choose a different, uh, a different um, blog post, news, for, or news feed, whatever, and it will work. So now what it's doing, it's, it, it's running it all through here and it's done, all of it's green, okay? Now what you do is you go to your Google Sheets and you will see it filled in here. Here's your blog post. Again, it's short and simple. If you try to use between 75, maybe 100 words, or maybe 50 to 100 words, don't use them more, okay? So what it's doing is giving the link it came from, it's creating the blog post, and it's telling you for what it's for, Facebook and LinkedIn. That's why I said you have to create these URL, I'm sorry, sorry, create these columns so it can separate. That way you know, and then you know which one you're writing it for. So all you gotta do is go, okay, these are for Facebook, and you can, you can, you know, in, in a spreadsheet, you can sort them and all that. And if you want to, you can um, do, do edits in here and save it, and that way you can have it. So again, this is why you would you create all this stuff. It's gonna give the URL, the blog post, and it's gonna tell you what it's for, okay? And that's simple as that. It's very simple and very easy to build this out. It's not very difficult. As you can see, it took us no less, more than like 20 minutes to do this. This is really good, especially if you are trying to write a lot of blog posts and you don't know how to come up with ideas. This RSS feed will help. All of this will help. Again, you, it's really fast and easy. Now, in the next video, I will show you how to use this method with the Google Sheets to get it to post to your social media automatically. So you don't have to do it if you don't want to. Okay, so that will be a part for people who want to automatically do blog posts and don't really want to um, basically spend a lot of time. They want to go and improve, improve, improve. So again, but doing the sheets, it's better to look at the content. And then the next video, I'll show you how to, after you've looked at it and improved it, I mean, sorry, improved it, it will automatically, the next automation will automatically post it to whatever social media you want. Okay, so I hope you like this video and I hope you like the content. If you like it, just subscribe to the channel and I hope to have more videos. Again, if you want this automation to download, I'll be a link at the bottom of the video. Just opt in and grab it and you can download it. And I will have all the links to the RSSV, Plexity, OpenAI, and everything that you need to get started building this automation. Okay, so thank you for watching my video. This is Michael Miller with Entrepreneurial Freedom, and I will talk to you later, and you have a great day. Bye.